so hello everyone welcome to programming now so in today's video we are going to set the app logo and the app name onto a application so now if you run the application and build it in your phone so what you can see that this app is getting run and if i close this app the so right now the app name is my test app as you can see over here as well the logo and this name but i want to change this so how we can so first we'll be starting with the logo so just create a directory uh, this is a like just a optional steps i'm just creating a directory images inside that i'm going to paste a file so if you see this image.png it's a app logo I want this logo on my device. So just close this, and this is image. Only. So if you remember, so we have to like come over here and set the asset if we are using any. Uh, this is the rule to set this in Flutter. So just select this images and then pub get it. Okay. After doing this, uh, just come to Android app rc main then in the manifest file so over here you can see that label so in the manifest you have to change your label let's select and name this app new app so yeah it is done so this is for the android and same for like for the ios what you have to do you have to come to your ios go to runner and go to info.pls file over here you can search and you can see that this cf bundle display name this is the key and the value is my test app but we don't want this we want my app so yeah by set setting over here in the ios and over here for the android you will be setting your app name so just let's hit run And come to the my test app. Just close the app. So yeah. So what you have to do, you just have to stop your run process and just start it again. So yeah, it will reinstall this. Okay. So it's giving me error. So let's just. Uh, this, that is not the error that is because of the storage is full on the virtual device so let's just delete one app and reinstall it now you can see it's installed so let's check so yeah if you see so the menu app is changed now what you have to do for the like now i will i'm going to show you this image.png how we can implement so just go to the play google come over here and search app icon generate the very first website go to that and drop your file over here so let's just copy this drop it here and this is present so for which you want i don't want for ipad mac os or watch OS. i want for iphone and android and the file name app logo let's just keep this point if you don't put anything so you don't have to put anything just click on generate so this will give you a zip just open that zip extract the zip and open that so now you see that we have two files for the android and for the ss so what you have to do just go to the android studio so in the android studio go to app src in in the resource folder right click on the resource folder click on open in find after that click on resource this is done so just go to the android file 
and select all of this and drop and just come to your file over here and just paste it over after pasting that you will find your like all you have to do is just paste them over here uh, so maybe I didn't uh, copy this copy come to the file over here right click and paste five items it will say to just replace all the files after replacing if you open that folder so you will find this similarly come back to android suit close this folder open the ios folder in the iOS, if you go to run and you will see that as it's dot <clears throat> I don't know what we see that just open in finder. So if you come over here, so you can see that app icons dot app icon set. So what we are going to do just uh, as I mentioned earlier, like we have to go to the file which we downloaded assets and just copy this. And paste in the away. Oh so going to the finder control window C, then go file, come over here, paste, replace. So if you replace, so now you will see that you can get the multiple icons. Just close everything. Now come to Android. Terminate the execute and rerun the app. Now, if the app got run, so now you can see that we are getting a slash screen with the R icons. So, yeah. Now you can see that the our menu app got his icon. So, this was the way, and this was the very efficient way to set the app name and the app icon to our app. So that's it for today's video. Thank you.